right, so everything is down. Boathouse is closed up. We'll walk down here. Let's see everybody getting in the water. Not in the water, on the water, I guess. Is a definitely a beautiful day to be out on the water. It's almost like glass out there. Uh, it's in a bit of an advantage having the time change, getting out on the water a little earlier. All right, and they are off. And now I have to get over to the launch and get out and be sure that nobody drowns. All right, so the plan for today is we're just going to try and get some meters in. Going to start off with a, with a pick drill, a basic pick drill warm up. Go down the course. We're going to go down the longer uh, portion of the course. And then just right from the uh, from the pick drill by pairs, gonna do a round by pairs, and then go right into uh, right into continuous rowing by all four, and then take it right out to the uh, to the dam on the other side of the canal. So it should be a, should be a fun day. Hopefully they don't hate me by the time that they're done. Just wanted to get a shot of the water today because it's absolutely beautiful. Wish I was out rowing. Too bad Sam showed up. There they are beginning the pick drill. Get stern pair going. Deborah and Susan in stroke pair. And Sam and Martha in bow pair. And of course Emily Coxing. You guys should check out the new uh, paint jobs on the blades. It's uh, tax colors. It's almost like you're legitimate as a club once you have your own uh, your own custom painted ore faces or ore blades. Okay, we're just finishing up the pick drill. I just wanted to get a shot of the water. My gosh, look at it. It is flat as glass. At this point, I look at it as the ore going in the water, going into a fresh jar of creamy peanut butter. Like a knife going in a fresh jar of creamy peanut butter. That's the way the water is. Definitely a beautiful day to be rowing. And then once we get past the bridges up here, um, Believe it or not, it usually gets even smoother. So I can't wait to see what the what the water conditions are going to be up there. <clears throat> All right, here we are coming out of the bridges. Whoops. Hang on, wait enough, wait enough, wait enough, wait enough. Do you know where it's caught? Sorry about that. Can you get it, Susan? Right. Okay, I don't want I don't want to get caught in it. Here. Alright, this is one of the adventures of a master screw coach.
Sam, can you catch me? Let's put in a little more power. Let's get some momentum going in the boat. It seemed like a little pause at the finish. Get those arms away quick. Keep that boat set. Just had a discussion with them about getting their hands out quicker. The boat's a little bit more set on this piece. And the water and the weather are absolutely beautiful. So I don't know if you guys can see, but we are not the only ones who are out here enjoying the water today. Got one of our friends over here. Let's see if we can, how close we can get to him before he goes under. Ooh, we're getting pretty close. He is a brave soul. Yikes, that's really, really close. A little too close. There he goes. These bridges are always so low. I always want to kind of duck my head on these. Fly ahead and see if there's anybody fishing on the road on the other side here. You don't have anybody here because it's I-4. No, it doesn't look like it. Sometimes I like to get up on the stern of the boat. Sometimes it really flips out the stroke seat. Deborah seems to be handling it well though. It's a good shot to get a view of the swing of the rowers from a, from a, from a head-on position. So here we are, we're probably about 40 minutes into the piece. Um, a couple of rests. They uh, rested when they spun and uh, we had the incident with the, uh, with the fishing line. Um, looking good, we can see some fatigue uh, setting in. Basically where I see fatigue setting in um, is just at that last uh, section of the recovery where everybody's kind of speeding up a little bit. Uh, you know, again, it's just, uh, it's just a, a fatigue thing. So we'll see a difference from that, from the, from the videos at the beginning of the row. And it's one of the reasons why we do these longer rows to get the get the athletes fatigued. So in that way they can kind of see you know where the weaker points are. Probably get about 500 or eh, 250 meters to go here, and then we'll uh, we'll weigh enough at the end of the course. All right, so we're going to see how uh, Emily's docking is. Awesome. 